Welcome to a new English lesson, dear grade 7 students. In today's lesson, we will go through module 3A, Grammar, Speak and Write, in your student's book page 37 and in your workbook pages 38 and 39. Let's now have a look at the objectives of today's lesson. Today you will be able to 1. Use must, have to, to express obligation, absence of obligation correctly. 2. Write a list of rules using must, have to, mustn't, and don't have to appropriately. 3. Now open your student book on page 37. In your student's book, page 37, go to part 3, grammar, must, have to, read the given instructions for task A, A, read the sentences below, then match the sentences 1 to 3 with A to C. Let's have a look at the given three sentences. 1. The library closes at 9 p.m. We must have to leave now. 2. You don't have to take the underground. I can't drive you there. 3. You mustn't can't enter the museum without a ticket. Now, which of these three sentences means A. It isn't necessary to do something. B. It isn't allowed to do something. C. It's necessary to do something. Read the sentences again and try to work it out. Let's check your answers now. Excellent students. Sentence number two means it isn't necessary to do something. You don't have to. Excellent again. Sentence number three means it isn't allowed to do something. You mustn't, can't. Well done students. Sentence number one means it's necessary to do something. We must have to. Let's move to task B now. Read the given instructions. B. Read the examples again and match the words in blue with what they express. Here you have the examples and here you have the words in blue. What does each word in blue express? A. Prohibition in the present future. Prohibition means something that you cannot do. B. Absence of obligation in the present future. Obligation means something that you have to do. C. Obligation in the present future. Read the sentences again and try to work it out. Let's check your answers now. Well done, students. The words in blue in sentence number three express prohibition in the present future. Excellent again. The words in blue in sentence number two express absence of obligation in the present future. While the words in blue in sentence number one express obligation in the present future. Great job, dear students. You could work out this task. Note that the past tense of must and have to is had to. Now, let's move to exercise C. Read the given instructions. C. Circle the correct options. Here you have six sentences. Read each sentence and circle the correct option. Let's check your answers now. 1. We must have all wear seat belts in the car. Excellent students. We must all wear seat belts in the car. 2. 
You don't have to. Mustn't. Ride your bike in the park. Look at the sign. Excellent again. You mustn't ride your bike in the park. Look at the sign. Three. Your room is very messy. You have must to tidy it. You have to tidy it. Excellent again. Four. We don't have to, mustn't take the bus. My dad can drive us to the shopping center. So we don't have to take the bus. My dad can drive us to the shopping center. Your answer is correct again. Five. You have to, had to buy a ticket for the ride. Well done students, you have to buy a ticket for the ride. You don't have to, can't get on without one. You can't get on without one. Your answer is correct again. Six, Ali has to, had to study yesterday, so he didn't come to the park. Had to study yesterday. Well done, students. All your answers are correct. Kindly open your workbook on page 38 now. In your workbook, page 38, go to task C. Read the given instructions. C. Choose A, B, C, or D. Here you have eight sentences. You are going to complete each sentence by choosing the correct answer from A, B, C, or D. Kindly pause the video and try to work it out. Let's check your answers now. 1. I cleaned the windows today because my sister cleaned them yesterday. The correct answer is, I don't have to. I don't have to clean the windows today because my sister cleaned them yesterday. Your answer is correct. 2. Mike take the school bus every day because his school is far from his house. The correct answer is has to. Mike has to take the school bus every day. 3. My mom wake up early yesterday because she had a lot to do. The correct answer is had to. Well done, students. My mom had to wake up early yesterday. Your answer is correct again. 4. You take pictures in this museum. Look at that sign. The correct answer is, you can take pictures in this museum. Look at the sign. Well done, students. 5. There's a lift in this building, so we take the stairs. So we don't have to take the stairs. Well done, students. Your answer is correct again. 6. You use your mobile when you are driving. It's dangerous. The correct answer is, you mustn't use your mobile when you are driving. It's dangerous. Excellent students. 7. We leave now. It isn't very late. The correct answer is, we don't have to leave now. It isn't very late. Excellent students. And now we move to the last one. 8. Explorers didn't have GPS systems in the past, so they use compasses. The correct answer is had to. Explorers didn't have GPS systems in the past, so they had to use compasses. Well done, students. All your answers are correct. Let's go back to your student's book page 37. Go to part 4. Read the given instructions. 4. Speak. Guessing game. Talk in groups of 4. One student chooses one of the means of transport below and says three things you must, have to, mustn't, or don't have to do when you use this means of transport. The other three students guess the means of transport. Use some of the ideas in the box. Here you have the means of transport. Bike, plane, underground, skateboard, bus. Tram. And here you have the ideas that you can make use of. Wear a seatbelt. Wear a helmet. Buy a ticket. Have a license. Use your mobile. Stop at red traffic lights. 
go on the pavement. In the yellow box, you have given examples. You don't have to wear a helmet, which mean of transport. That you don't have to wear a helmet when you use it. Plane, underground, bus, tram, excellent students. Now I will play this game with you. Which mean of transport you must wear a helmet when you, when you use it? The bike, excellent students. The skateboard, excellent again. Well, which mean of transport that you must have a license if you want to use it? Plane, underground, bus, tram, well done students, all your answers are correct. Now move to part 5 in your student's book page 37. Read the given instructions. 5. Write. Use the ideas you discussed above to write a list of rules for safe cycling in the city. Use must, have to, mustn't, and don't have to. So here you are going to write a list of rules for safe cycling. And don't forget to use the words in blue. Kindly pause the video and have some time to work it out. Here I have a suggested answer for you. Safe cycling. 1. You have to wear a helmet. 2. You mustn't use your mobile. 3. You must stop at the traffic light. 4. You mustn't go on the pavement. 5. You don't have to have a license. So, this is a suggested answer for you. You can make your own list, of course. Now, open your workbook on page 39. Go to task D. Read the given instructions. D. Read the sentences and correct them. Use must, mustn't, can't, have to, and don't have to. Here you have five sentences. You are going to correct these five sentences by using the words in blue. The first one is done for you. Let's have a look at it. 1. You must sit down on the tram. You don't have to sit down on the tram. Now work out sentences 2, 3, 4 and 5. Let's check your answers now. 2. You have to bring your own lunch on a plane. Do you have to bring your own lunch on a plane? You don't have to. You mustn't. You can't bring your own lunch on a plane. Well done students. Your answer is correct. Now we move to sentence number 3. You can leave your car on the pavement. Can you leave your car on the pavement? Well done students, you mustn't, you can't leave your car on the pavement. Sentence number four. In a car you mustn't wear your seat belt. What do you think? In a car you must, you have to wear your seat belt. Well done students. Sentence number five. You don't have to be a pilot to fly a helicopter. So what do you think? Can you fly a helicopter without being a pilot? You must have to be a pilot to fly a helicopter. Great job, dear students. All your answers are correct. Dear grade 7 students, I hope you enjoyed our lesson for today. Stay safe and goodbye.